Hi everyone, this is Hebe from My Little Journal, and today I'm going to be working in my project life. This is week 19, 2020, and I'm going to be using Studio Calico's Sunset Bay Documenter Kit. Love this kit so much. It's so summery and bright, and there's a lot of neutrals. I'm just in love. So I'm going through my kit, trying to find cards that match nicely with my photos. I'm going to be documenting just one day out of the week because it was a special day. My son got to go to his high school and pick up his cap and gown. There was little moments that I wanted to document. So I'm just going to stick to that day. Nothing throughout the week was important enough for me to document. So I'm just going to stick to this one day out of the week that I felt like was really special. Now I like the cards that I chose, so I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my spread. I'm gonna start with my title card. I'm gonna end up using my title card for journaling, adding the week number, and a little bit of embellishing. I start with my stamp set. The stamp set is adorable. I end up stamping a little sentiment right next to my flowers, and then I'm gonna take it to my typewriter, add my journaling. Now this kit came with some beautiful blue alpha stickers but they're not gonna match my spread. So what I end up doing is using my ink pad and just inking them uh, up in black ink so they can match my layout. And it's so easy to do. I literally just flip them over and just rub them on my ink pad. It is messy and that's why I use my tweezers. But once I ink up all the letters, I'll end up adding them to the bottom of my journaling. I'll also write week 19 because those alphas don't come with numbers and I really just want to stick to my kit. So I end up just writing 19 with a pen and I will go through the chipboard and add a little chipboard just to bring in some color to the bottom of my title card. And that's about it. It's really simple. I didn't do anything crazy. I really didn't want to cover up those beautiful flowers and I wanted those flowers to be like, you know, they, I wanted them to pop off my title card. So that's why I kept it simple. So I'm moving on to this three by four screenshot that I took from Instagram. So our high school was posting a senior a day, just kind of adding, you know, tidbits about each senior. So I took a screenshot of my sons and I'm gonna trim it down thinking I will add it to this rainbow card. But then I decide I like this gray card more. Just, I don't know, it mutes down the brightness of my layout and it had some space to journal. So I'm gonna end up sticking it down right in the center of that white box, add my journaling with a pen, and I believe I go through the chipboard again just to add some color to this gray card. Now I love this green polka dotted three x four card and I love the acetates that came in the kit, especially the black pineapple. I thought it looked awesome. So I'm going to literally just stick it down with my vellum tape. I've been recommending this tape. It's amazing. And it's always linked in my Amazon favorite link. I went ahead, stuck it down. And what I'm gonna do is ink up half of the stamp set or the stamp from the stamp set in the kit. And I'm going to just curve it a tiny bit so it can go around my acetate. And I think it looks adorable, just the simplicity of it. I literally just stamp it around my acetate and call it done. And I think I stamped like you are awesome or this is awesome just to create my own card. I always say this, when you are just using a kit, make the cards your own. Everybody's using the same kits. So, you know, kind of make each card your own and that way your layout stands out. Moving on, uh, they were taking pictures of our students when they came in to pick up their cap and gowns. I thought that was adorable. So I'm gonna use the chipboard just to add something to my photo here. And I ended up using the large four by six chipboard at the bottom of my photo. I'll also add another chipboard to this photo of him in the car. He was so excited. It made his day just going to school, picking up his cap and gown and seeing all his teachers and principal and things like that. 
Now again, trying to make another three by four card my own, I'm gonna be using the Dancing Banana from the chipboard set. It's so adorable, and I thought it would be fun to just stamp a little something underneath my chipboard and add my chipboard and call this one done. It was so simple to do, and I made it my own, and I got to use the Dancing Banana. Come on, that is so cute. Okay, so I'm almost done with my spread. I'm just gonna end up stamping one of the sentiments from the stamp set with some white brilliance ink on this photo. I just took a picture of the treats they handed out while the kids came to pick up their cap and gowns. Also use a little circle chipboard right above it just to bring in some of the yellow from my card. And I believe I stamp a little heart right in the center and I call my layout done. So easy, so beautiful. I love this kit so, so much. Don't forget, today is release day at Studio Calico. And if you want this kit, I have it linked down in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.